final award is judged by the British Phonographic Industry Council, and it's given to an individual who, in their opinion, has made an outstanding contribution to British music. It's particularly gratifying that this year it's going to a local lad who was born within spitting distance of this very spot. Ugh. And for more information on this particular subject, here's a golden minute from the golden voice of Simon Bates. In January 1945, Roderick David Stewart was born in North London to Scottish parents. His musical career really started when after spells playing football with Brentford, busking and being a beatnik bumming around Europe, he was heard singing on Twickenham Railway Station by Long John Baldry and was drafted into Baldry's band, the Hoochie Coochie Men. A sharp dressing mod with a great gravelly blues voice and an impressive harmonica player, Rod Stewart soon became a much sought after talent with bands like The Soul Agents, Steam Packet, Shotgun Express boasting Peter Green and Mick Fleetwood. And by the end of 1966, Rod was recruited to sing lead vocals with the guitar legend Jeff Beck. It was during his time with the Jeff Beck group that Rod struck up what was to be a lasting friendship with another band member, Ron Wood. In 1969, Ron and Rod, along with Ian McLagan, Kenny Jones and Ronnie Lane, became the Faces. At the same time, Rod Stewart launched his solo career, which was to bear fruit in dramatic style in 1971, when Maggie May became a massive hit. And at last, Rod's name appeared at the top of both the singles and album charts in Britain and the US. And it seems he's never been away since becoming a genuine superstar with a unique on-stage persona, an unmistakable voice, and a very impressive songwriting talent. And those great records still keep on coming, and he's doing it better than ever. The Brit Awards 1993 salutes Rod Stewart. And to present the award all the way from Canada, Rod's old mucker and great singing hero of mine, the Hoochie Coochie Man himself, Mr. Long John Baldry. Well, as far as I'm concerned, Rod Stewart has been making outstanding contributions for many, many years, not just 1993. But uh, this is a, an attractive piece of work here. Rod. <laughs> Thank you, John. You know, when I started singing uh, about 29 years ago when I was 19, I made myself three promises. The first was to try and stay in a job for more than six months. The second was to save up 300 pounds and buy myself a sports car. And the third was to pull as many birds as I could. <laughs> All of those things have come wonderfully true. <laughs> in actual fact, I've nearly got 1,000 pounds in the bank now. <laughs> There's a few people I want to thank. Most of all, the most important man in my life, my dad who died a couple of years ago, and that's why he's not here tonight. He was the man uh, that first bought me a guitar for no apparent reason, because I didn't want to be a musician, but he turned out to be one hell of a canny Scot. The second would be, oh, my flies are undone. <laughs> the second would be, uh, second would be my brother, Don. He took me to see Bill Ailey and the Comets when I was about 13, and that was a big inspiration for me, and that's why I think the seed was sown. And my family who have never stood in my way, in fact they've often given me a couple of quid when I've been broken, broke, God bless them. And then of course Long John, who I didn't know was going to be here tonight, Long John discovered me singing on a railway station when I was blind drunk in Twickenham. And thank you very much John, he gave me a little help up the ladder. I'd like to thank Jeff Beck, who I first went to the States with Jeff Beck, and if I hadn't been for Jeff, who broadened my horizons and my trousers. I would never have got a look in in the States. Uh, Ron Wood and the Faces I'd like to thank as well. Bless their humor and they did their best to ruin my liver. 
Also, let me think. Arnold Stiefel, my wonderful manager, Annie Chalice, WA Records, and really important, my wife, who at last has given me a deep and meaningful relationship. And last but not least, everybody that's been to one of my concerts or bought a record, thank you very, very much. I hope I've contributed something. I think I'm a very, very lucky guy. Thank you very much.